So in the previous video, we talked about solving the second order differential equation numerically um, for, the, uh, for the physical pendulum. So not using the approximation that allows us to solve it analytically, but instead using the numerical techniques to solve the actual differential equation. We can do something similar for um, drag. So this is what happens when, for example, you throw a baseball and there's air resistance, and that air resistance goes like um, the square of the velocity with which the, um, the baseball is flying. Or of course, this applies just as well with um, spacecraft that are uh, um, re-entering the atmosphere, which is the problem where I most recently had to use this kind of um, force and had to numerically solve uh, for, uh, for the, the, the speed at which something was going. So the drag coefficient depends on the shape of the object. So for most common objects, it's going to be approximately of uh, the size one half. Um, rho is the density of the air. A is the cross-sectional area of the baseball and V is the velocity. So that's of course the thing that makes this um, uh, a difficult problem to solve is because V itself will be equal to um, Y prime. If we think about um, vertical throwing or, or dropping, for example, um, so then this will be the thing that we'll have to worry about this the fact that V is equal to Y prime um, and not just we don't just have V in this expression but we have V squared and if we want to turn this into something that has the right direction because drag always works in the opposite direction as the velocity then this turns into a V to the third over the absolute value of V so that gives us the sign of that um, component. So we can plug in the numbers for rho, um, the drag coefficient, the uh, um, area and the mass, um, and we get about 0 0.01 per meter. So that's our prefactor here. Um, but the other things are our g, that's approximately 10, and then the rest is v, which depends on y. So we get a differential equation, again, a second order differential equation. This is our y double prime. This is the thing that depends on y. Um, and we can plug this in, in our, our function. We have a vectorized function that includes that entire right-hand side here. So again, the first thing is always the same, um, or, uh, or y prime, or so the zeroth component here, remember that is just y. So the zero component of y prime is y prime, and y prime is also the first component of y. Um, and then of course, y prime one, is the, the derivative of the first component of y, so the derivative of y prime. So that will then be minus g plus uh, 0 0.01 per meter times this v, um, v squared. So here we have our 0 0.01 times, we use the sine function here to just get the sine of, uh, um, of y1 then y1 squared, so y1 is the velocity squared, and then minus 10 for our g. So that's our function. Um, we can also create a function that doesn't have any drag. Uh, so in that case, we know the solution. If we start at x0 um, with, uh, or a height, um, maybe I should have called this y0, um, with a velocity v0, then uh, that will give us our, um, uh, our, our ballistic trajectory for the um, for a baseball. So if we solve with our vectorized solver, then we will get um, our, our y position or our height for the baseball with the in the case of drag, and we can compare that for the case without drag. And as you see here versus time, if we do include, if we don't include the drag, then we see that we throw this baseball fairly high and it will come back down and after eight um, time units, We'll be back at time at uh, zero. If, however, we include drag, we see that it actually slows down and it comes back sooner. And then once it starts falling, if you compare the slope of this downward trajectory here and here, you see that it doesn't accelerate as much. So the slope is actually shallower. And at some point, this trajectory will cross that trajectory. Um, and that's of course because drag should slow this ball down when it's falling, but it doesn't because in the solid curve is that we don't include drag, but by including drag, we see that it doesn't fall as quickly um, as we expect to. 
And of course, drag is, as you can see from this graph, is an important, um, an important factor. The, it changes the height uh, where th that this baseball reaches uh, by almost 50%. Um, so clearly it has an impact. Uh, so uh, again, this is a problem that we would not be able to solve analytically. The only reason why we can solve this is because we have developed a numerical solution to uh, differential equations. Um, and so using our vectorized um, solver and our uh, vectorized right-hand side function, um, we can calculate the solution or we can determine the solution for this problem.